we will model a spaceship, a really simple spaceship that we will use for our parenting lesson. Um, but we'll uh, model that and then uh, shade it and then put some animation to it where we could cycle it and then um, put it part of a parenting um, lesson that uh, we can have fun with it. All right, so I'll delete the cube here and then we'll make it really simple. So I'll start with a uh, sphere. UV sphere. I'll leave the details um, as is, 32 and whatnot. So I'm going to go to the front here, but let me turn on my screencast real quick. Okay, and then I will I, uh, scale this one along the Z axis about that much right there. Okay, and then uh, we will flatten the bottom right here. So I will go to edit mode. I'm going to select that bottom dot right there. Go back to front mode and I'm going to click Control plus to increase my selection all the way up to that selection right there. I'm going to squeeze this uh, to flatness. So that would be scale along the Z axis. So S, Z, zero. All right. And then I will simply move that up. All right, so that would be the bottom of the spaceship right there. And then for the top right here, um, we will get rid of uh, the uh, faces up to there. Okay, and then I will just simply uh, delete this faces. Okay, and then I will add a little bit of a a wall right here so we can house the dome so I'm gonna press number two to go to edge mode I'll click it all the way okay I'm gonna E to extrude it okay and make sure right click that and then I'm gonna go up here on the extrude okay I'm going to press I uh, sorry uh, E to extrude it but I will press S to scale so it goes in a bit like that and then E again, right click to cancel so I can move it down like so. So we have kind of like a, a little uh, wall for the dome, okay? Uh, that would be uh, another sphere. So I will do a Shift A UV sphere. I'm going to go back to the front. I will scale this until it kind of matches kind of like the dome over there the opening for the dome uh, will make it a little bit more of the retro sci-fi look up to there I think I'm gonna scale it until we can kind of see the uh, let me see here right there basically smaller than the edge uh, the wall right there and I'll bring this up okay all right and then we'll just delete all the parts that we don't need for the sphere so let's select the bottom right there and then we're going to do control plus in x-ray mode so we see up to which part we need to delete i think right there i'm going to press number three to change it to faces delete the faces i'll leave it like that all right, so we can make this one uh, shiny, we can make this metallic, so on and so forth, okay? So we'll bring this back up. Let's select this one. Let's uh, finish this part right here where it has kind of like uh, its exhaust or, you know, the engine and all that. Um, first, I will go select up to there. All right, maybe one more and press number two to go to a uh, edge mode. I'm going to press X right here and then dissolve the edges. So we only, we get this like kind of clear, clean, flat surface. Okay. I'm going to do uh, number uh, three, select this face. Okay. I'm going to press E to extrude and bring it down a little bit. Press I for inset faces. 
then E to extrude back the top. All right, so there's that. And we might need to do some um, detailing on this one just so that we can uh, uh, add some um, uh, rotation to it. And then you get to see what's happening with the rotation. So I will select this faces here. I'm on the top viewport, by the way. So I'm just selecting the counterpart there. Counterpart here on the other side. Maybe four is enough. I will press I to inset those faces. All right, up to there. Okay, and then I have a loop tool on. If you don't, uh, that would be a, go to edit preferences, go to add on, type in loop. Make sure it's mesh loop tools on. You get check mark right there. Check that, and then if I right click here, loop tool, I'm gonna go circle. Okay. So it will kind of give me this kind of circular, the best circular shape it can do for that particular um, area right there. And then we will simply recede this ones. Or let's see, we can protrude them a little bit. Press I, then press E, just to go down a little bit. Just so that there's some kind of detail for it. And then when we, uh, do some rotations we get to see something in there okay so at this point I'm going to right click this shade smooth go to my data panel right here turn on auto smooth so we keep the details okay I'll do the same thing for this one shade smooth all right and we are pretty much done with the model okay and what we need to do is just add some shading to this kind of keep it really simple all right so let's go to the top uh the dome okay and it's separate piece right here uh we might just combine this later on but part of the parenting lesson we might be able to uh make this uh, independent of the uh the dome independent of the saucer and then do some have some fun with that all right so i'm gonna apply one here I'm thinking here we just make this one uh, super um, uh, shiny kind of like so all right kind of just a plastic glass dome all right and we can uh, clear coat that a little bit okay then we'll do the same thing for the main body right here uh, we'll make this one metallic but we'll make it red okay maybe a little bit on the orangey side of red right there okay and we're gonna add another color make this one metallic leave it at white color so it has that kind of gray look to it okay and then we will pick parts right here um well while those are selected actually and uh Let's add another material here. Change this material to emission. So that kind of gives us sort of like a light glow. Okay. Oh, apologize for that one. And um, we'll make it, uh, let's say on this one, uh, green, just so that it's a little bit obvious. Okay. And then while that one is selected, we will simply click assign all right, and then we have that green right there. And then here at the bottom, we'll add another emission. Okay, I'm gonna change it on the surface right here. Principal DSDF, change that to emission. We'll make this one yellow or orangey. Apply it, that kind of gives us that kind of light glow going from the back right there. Okay, now it's time to add the trims, which is that material right there. So. I will select the faces right here. I'll click this line. It selects it all the way around. And then I'm going to click on Control Plus on the numpad. It selects that. And just to show you that that's the color, you might need to make it darker, make it more metallic like. And we're keeping it low poly. 
uh, metallic right there. I will leave it like that. Um, I don't want to bevel it because it'll add to the geometry. We're just keeping it really simple. All right, I'll do the same thing here. Alt click goes all the way around. Shift Alt click. Okay, let's turn on uh, screencast. Turn it on and off right here. Okay, so as you see what I'm doing right here, we'll go to solid mode. Shift Alt click. Shift Alt click. Shift Alt click, and then when I do Control Plus, it selected all those areas. We will go to Material and apply that grayish metallic color. And this is our spaceship. Super simple. We could do uh, our parenting uh, lesson with this one, and uh, we'll uh, get back to uh, to this part of the lesson later on. Um, and animate this in various uh, uh, transform uh, cycle some animation okay maybe make it kind of make it kind of hover and then put it on or make it you know we can do some rotation put in part of it in our armada and then let it kind of uh, fly through a scene okay and that's our spaceship right there so I'll save this one Then we'll go to our um, parenting lesson, uh, which will be posted also. So we'll have a parenting lesson first uh, that's uh, separate from this one, uh, explaining how parenting is. And then once that's explained, we can go here and then explain why that's needed when we animate these things, doing various things.